I'm Doug Keck. This is an EW10 Bookmark Brief. Just had the great pleasure of speaking with Dana Joy, the author of The Catholic Writer Today and other essays by Wise Blood Books, available through our catalog, of course. Dana, will you give us an overview of why you wrote this book and who it's targeted towards? Well, the, the book is about a weird situation in the United States. Catholics are the largest religious denomination in the U.S., and yet they have absolutely no positive presence in the general culture. Uh, and in fact, we're in a moment that is very anti-Catholic in, in society and in the arts. Now, some people think this is the way it's always been. It hasn't. If you go back 50, 60 years ago, uh, and you looked at the, what was going on with American literature, an enormous number of the most famous writers were Catholic. So I began to explore what does it mean when you have a culture in which Catholics are not heard, and is there anything we can do about this? Right. Uh, what, what does it mean to be a Catholic writer in your mind? Well, there's, being a Catholic writer is, is one of two things. I mean, uh, a Catholic writer is somebody who is Catholic, who is, participates in the faith. Now, some people who are Catholic writers don't write about Catholicism. You know, they, you know, Ernest Hemingway was a Catholic, and there, you know, there's Catholic figures in his characters, but he's writing stories about wars and, and about, you know, life in Paris and things like this. And there are other writers who are writing about religious experience. Gerard Manley Hopkins would be mm -hmm. a Catholic writer, in fact, a, a Jesuit priest who's writing largely about religious experience. So. A, a Catholic writer is a Catholic who can write about anything in the world, whether it's secular or religious. But the fact is, if you are a Catholic, I think you tend to see the world a little differently, and the stories you tell are a little different. I mean, you wouldn't uh, need to know that Ernest Hemingway went to Mass to see, you know, the kind of existential significance that his stories have. They're about people, in a sense, in absolutely critical moments of, of salvation or perdition. Very good. Well, thank you so much, Dana Joya, for joining us. Thank you for the entire interview. The book of the Catholic Writer Today and other essays, Wise Blood Books, a very interesting and a somewhat different book for our bookmark audience. But check it out through our EW10 Religious Catalog, EW10RC.com. Look for the entire interview coming soon on the network and on the web. And this has been a bookmark brief. Thanks for stopping by.